Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The Phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the Phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. What the? Leo. Right. Dragon and a phoenix. Just like the mirrors. So this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten, alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. That's Bailu Village. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. 
Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? Uh... Shenhua? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand. Leo. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. <clears throat> Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's... Keep moving. Hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because they said some thugs came by. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village? Up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second.
I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Liu. I'll try another settlement. Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not, for I am the great Suzu Xiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chi. Will do. I need help with something. What do you want? I'm looking for someone named Yuan. No, I haven't. Not since I saw him go to that house over there, but that was a while ago. Okay, thanks. Do you have a moment? Huh? What is it? There's something I want to ask. Huh? What is it? I don't like the looks of you. Uh, okay. Hello? Uh, looks like no one's home. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Zhou next door, but Zhou is likely working right now. Maybe Zhou's daughter Lin knows where he is. I see. I need your help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I'm not supposed to be talking right now. My master says I have to practice more. I'm looking for him. Go ask one of the other kids running around. Okay. Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that too. You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yun? He's a stonemason. A stonemason? Just like my daddy? 
Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at seven at night. He does. Okay, thanks. Mm-hmm, no problem. Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, Daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen Yuen around. If you know anything, I... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? They were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too? I don't know. Yuan was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that, too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. Bye-bye, mister! Bye! It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Anything new, y'all? Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right then. We'll go together. Good. Sunflower seeds? 
What are they doing here? What's this? A medical salve? Shinwa's flute. It was made out of wood from the Shinmu tree, wasn't it? Leo? Yeah? I've been thinking about the thugs that went to Ling's house. And? I don't think it was a coincidence. I'm with you. They must have had a reason. Let's talk to the villagers together tomorrow. Okay. I want to ask some questions of my own. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Leo? Did your father say anything to you? You know, before he left? No, nothing. But that wasn't unusual. Hmm. Okay. Although... Although what? Now that I think about it, he turned back to look at me several times as he headed for the cave. Interesting. Maybe... he had a feeling he wouldn't be coming back. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I've been thinking about the cave. It was my first time in the cave as well. I had no idea he was crafting something on this scale. I see. The phoenix and dragon are exactly the same as those on the mirrors. And in my father's letter, it's as if he knew you would have the mirrors, and that you'd come here. Exactly. But how? We won't know until we ask him ourselves. I guess not. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? You're coming with me to the village tomorrow, right? Yes. We'll find my father. Together. <laughs> 